Binging bills are about to see another bump. Is this really happening? Major streamers have announced price increases for nearly every premium plan, and subscribers are seething. I just opened my Hulu, and they're raising their prices to $17.99 a month. What are we paying for? Starting next week, ad-free tiers of Hulu and Disney Plus will cost an extra $3 a month. Well, NBC Universal owned Peacock has already raised the price for both of its subscription plans by as much as $2. And Netflix could be next. The Wall Street Journal reports, according to people familiar with the matter, the streaming giant is looking into charging more for its ad-free service after the Hollywood actor's strike ends. While Netflix declined our request for comment, industry experts say the move to increase prices is no plot twist. These price hikes are really about taking these you know, services that are losing a lot of money and trying to make them profitable. And the fact that it coincides with the end of the strikes is not a coincidence. With studios and streamers looking to end the more than 90-day-long actors' strike, experts say the new contracts with SAG-AFTRA and the writers' union could cost Hollywood hundreds of millions of dollars. Some customers feel they're having to foot the bill. The immediate reaction is anger because it's like, how much more can you possibly ask from us? These higher prices may just be the beginning. Next year, more streamers are expected to crack down on password sharing. During an earnings call, Disney CEO Bob Iger said they'll address the issue in 2024. The company owns streaming services Hulu, ESPN Plus, and Disney Plus. It comes after Netflix said it shut down on sharing, helped it add nearly 6 million new subscribers. <laughs> Now, with the actors' strike putting Hollywood on hold, studios are hoping to keep revenue streaming. So, with these prices going up, how can people save? Yeah, so they are subscription bundles that are offered sometimes. You can get them through the streamers, or maybe you can get them through your internet or cell phone provider. Just keep in mind, and this is important, that the price hikes are often with the premium tiers. So, if it feels too costly, maybe you can downgrade to one of the lower tiers. The other thing to look out for is, is shrinkflation. So, prices might be going up, but the services, the viewing options might be the same. They might even be getting smaller. So, mm. no Know what you're getting for what you're paying. Mm -hmm. Don't pay more for less. Some, some streamers will let you if you have ads or something. It's mm -hmm. cheaper, right? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. If you, that's a, a compromise you can make, mm -hmm. right? It's yeah. funny watching streaming become what cable was 25 years mm -hmm. ago. It's just essentially <laughs> exactly what it was. Exactly. Yeah. Which was inevitable, I yeah. guess, yeah. right? Where there's nothing on. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly. Nothing on. Like, like, yeah, <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.